Hi! Today I've got some packages to unpack. I've been saving them up in my room. It is a variety of some book packages and also a package from Lush. There's currently another package waiting for me at the post office, but I haven't had time to go get it yet. So you might see that in a future video or on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. My username on all of those is Books and Quills, by the way. For some of them I know what's in it, for some of them I don't. This one is from Eggment which is a publisher. It is The Mystery of the Jeweled Moth by Catherine Woodfine. If you watched my most recent book haul, you will have seen The Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow, which is in the back here. It says, The honor of your company is requested at Lord Bowcastle's fancy dress ball. It involves mingling in high society, cucumber sandwiches, terrible secrets, and a criminal mastermind. It also comes with a mask for the masked ball, obviously. Perfect. I'm ready. You always end up losing your scissors like two seconds in. The next package is from Jessica Kingsley Publishers. Oh. It comes with a postcard that says, please find enclosed a signed copy, oh that's so nice, of Take It As A Compliment by Maria, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, Stoyan? This is so pretty. It's called Take It As A Compliment and it is about harassment. On the back has a quote that says, I think maybe it was a bit my fault. Maybe I am too nice. Thank you very much for sending it over. Then I have a gift bag from Ken Women, which contains lots of lovely paper and it will be revealed soon what it is for. First of all there's some lemongrass and ginger tea. A candle. Oh this is very nice. A penguin mug for Virginia Woolf's A Room of One's Own. I already have the Wuthering Heights one and I love it. Probably gonna bring this into work. And then two copies of All the Bright Places. I think it's been out for about a year now, but they've been giving out some cool packages to sort of re-promote this and I actually haven't read it yet, so these will definitely come in handy. And this one I'll be giving away to, friend. Finally, there is a box from Lush. Valentine's Day is almost here. I might be putting this video up on Valentine's Day. First, let me just smell the box before I open it. Yep, smells good. Oh, it's so pretty, look at it! Okay, so I've taken off the ribbon. Lovely paper. As you might expect, this smells amazing. So, first of all, we have Tisty Tosty. Ooh, it looks like this. They've been sort of wedged in together, so the pink is not supposed to be on there. This is a bath one that you can use to concoct a love potion in your bath. Rose, Aura's Root, and Rosebuds. Mm. Next one is called Lover Lamp and it has little hearts pressed out of the side. This has fair trade organic cocoa butter hearts. You can watch them melt with Brazilian orange oil and fair trade vanilla absolute. And then finally one that I think is in the normal collection or at least I've heard about it before, it's quite popular. And it is called Sex Balm for the ultimate sensual bath. Thank you very much Lush, these will definitely be used. Okay, so those were some of the packages I got in the mail. I love opening up packages and it's even more fun to do it on camera and show it to you guys as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more sort of unpacking videos, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Doei! Hello, me cool.